Following on from the previous video, we were trying to understand this um, this function here. We were trying to understand this function here. From this function here alone, we can deduce this, uh, we can deduce this, and we can deduce these. Okay, so so later on, we're going to combine all of these to try and understand this function here, to try and sketch this function here. Um, this can be later on. We can use this to detect the uh, the inflection point. But for the time being, let's try and analyze this. From this, we can we can deduce a lot of things about um, about this original function here. Okay, so now let's let's just look at this. Okay, so um, so analyzing that. So remember that remember that the normal e to the power of x graph looks like this. Okay, so 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 here you've got e to the power of something. Um, so just just bear in mind that e to the power of x looks like looks like this. Okay, so so now let's try and look at this now. So when when x is very very big, let's say nine 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 in here. Okay, so if, if you put this into here, uh, so so nine 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 sorry nine 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 squared will give you a very very big number, very very big, and then uh, you've got this minus here, so it will be e to the power of very 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 big. Okay, a, a minus very very big. So um. So, so if you look at this, e to the power minus very, very big. So that's that's while well, looking back at this graph here, e to the power of very, very minus very, very big. That's down here somewhere. That's down here somewhere. So it will be a very, very small. Okay. So, 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 so this thing here, when x is very, very big, um, the uh, the the f prime will 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 be very, very small. It will be very, very small. The, um, the, well, if if you think about it, if if you put negative, uh, if you put a very very big number into here, square that very very big number, it will be a very very, it, it will be an even bigger number. Now now you've got this minus here, minus here, and then you've got this e. So what you've got here is e e a very very minus big, but negative big. So that that will be somewhere over here somewhere. And the the further negative big you go, the smaller it will be. So that that will be very small down here. Okay. So so this here, when it's very very big, it will be very very low. Uh, don't forget this is f cap uh, f prime of x here. Um, so so let's let's look at it. let's look at uh, negative very very big. Okay. So so let's put if you put this into here. So um, so put no, minus nine 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 into here. Square it. It will be a positive very 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 big. Okay, but then so so when you square this negative number, it will become a very positive, very very big, and then you've got a minus here, and then and then here. So so basically, you've got e to the power of minus very very big. That's that's the same thing down here. So very very big, but negatively big. So this thing here will be very very small. So overall, your graph your graph will look something like this: very very small, very very small. Okay, and and when when x is zero, when x is zero, put zero into here. Uh, zero squared would be zero. You've got minus here. Minus zero is still zero. So this thing here, this whole thing here, will be uh, will be one. So you've got one here. So so you so this whole thing here will look something like this. It will look something like this. Okay, so so this whole thing here. Will look something like this here will be one. This here will be very very small, and then it will look something like this. So um, so now now that we know that this looks something like this, we can we we can look at this graph and deduce something about our original graph. So hang on. So knowing that knowing that uh, this looks like this, we can deduce a lot of things about our, our original function. So looking at our, looking at this. If you look at the purple line here, this purple line here is always is always above above zero. It's always above the horizontal here. It's always above zero. Well, if it's always above zero, it must mean that our original function must always be climbing. It must always be climbing because the the gradient is always is always above um it's always above zero. If the gradient is always above zero, it must mean that the original function must always be climbing. Somehow it must always be climbing. Okay, so now, now if if you look at, at at this region around here, the climb here is very very small. 
it is climbing, but it's approaching zero. It means that it's it's climbing, but it's it's not climbing by very much. Not very much. It's 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 coming to a really it's really it's coming to a standstill almost. But it is still climbing, but it's a it's climbing at a near standstill level, if that makes sense. So what is happening is that it's a it's approaching an asymptote. Hang on, asymptote here. It's 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 climbing. It's climbing. Hang on. It's climbing, but it's it's heading towards a limit. So so by the time it gets around this region here, by the time it gets around this region here, but by the time it gets around this region here, it's climbing, but it's it's not climbing very much. It's coming to um to a limit. Okay, and and then and then over in this region here, it, it is it, it's um it's already at a limit, but then it it climbs a lot faster. So so basically, hang on, um. So so basically, it looks something like this. It's it's hot. It it is climbing, but but not very much. And then and then by the time it gets around here, it climbs. It it's steepest right here. So so steepest right here. So so your overall graph will look something like this. Okay. Um. So so your original. You see, if if you have your original function to look something like this, when when you look at the gradient, it will give you this thing here. Okay, but but there are more things we we there are more evidence to support that um, that our original function would look something like this. But we we will look at it in the next video. Okay, but but if you at the moment if you if you create your your function to look something like this, then this supports that our, our derivative looks like this. Okay, but but there are ever there are further evidence to support that. Uh, our original function will look like this. We will explore that in, in the next video.